Why is this evening so important for you and the other vets from Vietnam? Because it's finally we're being recognized for what we did mm -hmm. 42 years later. Why do you believe the Vietnam War and the veterans did not get the recognition they deserved? I can't tell you that because don't forget for most of the war, I wasn't reading the papers. That's right. I was five and a half years in the Hanoi Hilton, so mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I have no idea what was going on back here. And when I finally got home, I hardly recognized the country. Mm -hmm. In what way? Well, they took me out to a shopping mall, and I had never seen people with long, guys with long hair, and mm -hmm. just everything about it was just so strange and foreign to me, I didn't know what to make of it. Now, you were a war hero. Uh, you, you were shot down or had to bail, and unfortunately, you were captured in a prisoner of war. Uh, when you look back on that, obviously, for someone like you who's a veteran, mm -hmm. uh, serving your country has to be what it's all about, and even still. Uh, yes. In fact, uh, I remember the words that uh, Senator Jeremiah Denton, who was at that time an admiral, said when he got off the plane, that he was grateful that he, we had the opportunity to serve our country in difficult circumstances. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to say that I still am grateful for that. Now, when you, when you get together with the other Vietnam vets, and, and as you alluded to, uh, you're only now getting the recognition, which I, I again, don't understand. Do, to a man, do they all feel that way, or, or is it more, hey, we're all together and that's all that matters? That's, that's it, because most of the guys that I get together with are guys I was in prison with. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that we have a bond that other, other people don't have. Mm -hmm. Now, the Orioles do a lot for the military and for veterans. What does it mean to you that, that uh, an organization that is as large as the Baltimore Orioles and, and has so much uh, community outreach that they would reach out to the Vietnam vets? I, I'm, I'm really impressed. Uh, first of all, I'm impressed that, you know, Maryland Public Television is doing, uh, is doing a series on us. And I'm impressed that they did that to bring the story to people. And then I'm impressed that the Orioles, it makes me feel bad because, you know, when we got home, Boy Coon, the, the commissioner of baseball gave us all a lifetime free pass. Mm -hmm. But I live in Western Maryland, so it's a long way to drive. <laughs> so I, I hardly ever have used it at a, at a big league baseball game. Well, it's an honor to have you here tonight. We appreciate well, it. Well, thank you. Okay, thank you.